This is huge. This is just a massive pot. I'm get whoever wins this is uh oh come on, don't put a queen out there. Yes! Oh no, hot! Oh no. <sighs> what is this? This is mental, please. Tens. Come on, no ten or seven. Oh no ten, seven, eight. Please, this could be absolute this is no. Honestly, threes is actually the sort of hand that you can shove. Quite often the lower pocket pairs do work okay as a shove. I am actually just gonna call this time, to be honest. You know, with ICM in play as well now. Um, I'll go for a raise here. I don't actually need to go too huge, to be honest. Like he should fold out his, you know, his, his ace tens and other ace x. You know, he's going to fold out most hands unless he's got like a, obviously a queen pocket pair or sort of a real premium, you know, ace king probably isn't going to give up that easy flush draw. But in general, uh, just a little raised size like that is going to be able to fold out sort of most hands that he opens. God, I've literally been getting absolutely no action on this table. See a bit of action here. Ace jack, oh God, ace jack is in very bad shape. Needs run a runner. There is the one. Is he gonna get a second? That would be a horrible, horrible way to, uh, well, he wouldn't go out, but horrible way to lose the hand. I mean, obviously, Domingo's a very good player, but I wouldn't like to see aces lose to ace jack, to be honest with you. <sighs> this is just getting ridiculous now. Like, I have not, I, like, I just, I'm not getting any hands. Finally, I finally get a hand. I am gonna min raise, but honestly, sometimes like you're probably supposed to min raise, but it could look like weaker if I just kind of shove this or maybe put like four, four or five big blinds in rather than just min raising. Um, but then again, if it completely folds round like this, you're more likely to get some value off the off the big blind when you min raise. So see like this now, you know, if he has sort of nine here and I bet the flop uh, go one point I go one point six you know he's probably just gonna shove this nine when I got five big blinds left um, yeah so I guess on this occasion it was a good decision just to min raise there so this is uh, unless something funky happens here we're gonna be going all in you know unless there's obviously a raise and a three bet I think yeah, perhaps I'd call if this guy opened, but certainly against the big stack, we'd be whacking that one in. I'd be uh, I'm shoving against the button open here, and I would have been calling had this guy shoved. Um, I hope we don't see a shove here. Is there... No, there's no point really waiting for pay jump. Just get this one in. Nice. You know, it wouldn't have been a disaster there if we would have got a call because, come on, Finally, I've literally, the amount of trash hands I've been having and now I've had kings, aces and uh, ace 10 suited all in quite quick succession. I think I've just got about enough of a stack now where I do go for the non all in three bet. Yeah, I think it, because even though this, I mean, this does look really strong. I'll get, if I get, yeah, I think I, I'll go 5.2. Yeah, so... Hmm. I think I will just open this one. It's a bit. It's, it's quite a tough decision though, like, because this guy can be shoving quite loosely. But I think if if it was king queen suited, I would probably call if this guy shoved. But king queen off, I would just go for fold. If this guy shoves, then I would probably ten big blinds probably have to call that off. Yeah, this is what we obviously didn't want to happen. I think that would have just been like. a too loose call when we've we've got some other shorter stacks i think just the fact that we're pretty close to the final table which is where you know icm wise it would have been a bad call with the king queen off <clears throat> here we go gonna be going all in whatever happens here i think very few circumstances in which i'm not going to be going all in with ace queen with 11 big blinds you know unless there was some multi-way all in i mean hopefully there's not 
I, you know, I'd quite like it if this guy shoves, this guy shoves, this guy shoves. Yeah, obviously gonna snap this one off. You know what? I think, I th yeah, I think even if this guy, if this guy went all in as well, I have to snap this one off. Come on, don't put that ten out there. Good so far. Still good, just a ten now. This would be huge, actually. <clears throat> Come on. That's massive. You know, we lose that pot. You know, I'm likely going out with two grand. Winning that pot, I'm now up to third. Ten comes there, and that costs us, you know, minimum minimum five grand, really. Oh, I actually wasn't looking at the other table, but looks as though um, someone must have been knocked out. So, made the final table, and we're coming into it fourth. Um... But stuff is all very close. You know, there's, there's actually there's actually no short stacks. So this is going to be quite a tough final table, especially with some good players on here. Wow, what a hand to have in the big blind. Okay, this is huge. This is just a massive pot because, you know, I'm get, whoever wins this is... Uh, oh, come on, don't put a queen out there. Yes! Oh no! Hot! Oh no! <sighs> that is... God, I got excited then. I just saw the king. <sighs> Phew. I always do that, you know? I always celebrate too soon. I just instantly saw the king and I was there like, right, we've guaranteed won this one. Not realising he actually had bags of equity. Got another nice hand, actually. Ace-Jack. So we're up into fourth now. This is actually such a tough... I don't know what to do here, to be honest, because I don't particularly... You know, I probably have to, but I don't particularly want to be going... So what's he on? 15? You know, I don't particularly want to be going 17 big blinds all in with an Ace-Jack suited at a final table. But, I, you know, I think I've got to just raise this one, but... If he shoves, I think I'm just going to fold, to be honest with you. You know, I've, I've got myself into a good position now. But when it's kind of all close here, you know, I don't want to I don't want to then be on the second shorter stack. He's been tanking for absolutely ages, to be honest. Nice. I wonder what I made fold there. He was thinking about that for ages. Going to see an all in here because this guy, you know, he... He has no fold equity here, and he obviously knows that. Wow. Um, I mean, I imagine this guy's going to fold now. Yeah. Queen Jack. Wow. So Queen Jack does win it. Um, see a fairly big bet on the turn by Simon, and then... Just a shove from Juan Dominguez. Perhaps Simon's on like a... Well, we'll see now. 10-9. Wow. 10-9. He's got absolutely bags of equity there. Yeah, and he does get there. Eight for a pay jump. Nice. And obviously we we would... Well, he's not going to go all in here when, when we've got this short stack. Well, guy about to go out, Simon, but... Obviously, if Morgota, 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 whatever, did shove, then uh, I would call it off. But yeah, has been thinking about this one for a little, little while. Wow, so <laughs> that is a a weird one. To be honest, I'm like it. This obviously could be aces or kings, but I'm just gonna be shoving this one. Ace king, yeah. Okay, we hold so far. Okay, I mean, that guy gets it, but as long as there's not an ace or king. Yes! Wow, that's a rough one for him. Simon somehow manages to get a pay jump with zero big blinds. Jack four. Going to open up ace nine. You know, in a weird situation here, we've got all of our stacks are very sort of similar big stacks. And then we've just got the one one short stack here. Uh, if he shoved, I'd... Yeah, maybe I have to call this ace nine off actually. Um, gonna check this flop back. Yeah, I don't, I'm not gonna do anything on this board. You know, we've still got showdown with the ace high, and there's there's no point bluffing. We've just got very little equity here. Easy fold. Will we see a call from from Namst here? He's been 
call him pretty loosely, so it wouldn't surprise me. Cool. I mean, nines isn't too loose, but wow, I cannot believe this. How this guy's come back? He was on. He was literally on zero big blinds, and now he's come back from that. Like that is just a crazy comeback. So we have an easy open here with a six suited. Obviously, don't want to be three bet. I'm definitely going to be betting this one. You know, I know we don't hit this flop, but yeah, I'm going to go for a big bet again here, actually, because he's not going to have any strong kings. You know, we can fold out a three or four, whatever, um, and we're going to start folding out any draws here, heart draws. And, you know, we, we do have equity itself here. Obviously, we can hit a five. Um, <sighs> wow, I didn't want to see a call on the turn. But I probably shouldn't be betting this you know I, I don't have a heart that is the problem but you know I think he leads out with his heart so that's the thing <sighs> really don't know I probably should check this one but if he did have a heart draw I really do think he's leading this one out um, I'm gonna bet it you know yes come on we get this through that's huge you know that was just a pure gut play the way this guy's played and the river, so, you know, seeing how the hand was played, I think it would have just let out. So in the end, yeah, just make that huge river bluff. And now we're joint top with all the others, basically. Against this guy, I think I will actually call the fives from the small blind. Like, he is definitely the weakest player at the table. And, yeah, he is short stack also. I think I can start to bet out here. When he checks and... And, you know, as long as this guy doesn't have a 7 or 8. Nice. Get it through. Nice and easy. Perfect. Now, this is a hand we like to see at the final table. Come on, one. Put some pressure on me. Very aggressive player in the button. Uh, unfortunately, just calls, which, you know, you can get in some tricky situations against a strong player if it's a bit of a dodgy flop. But Simon hasn't folded yet, though. Seeing all in, guess I'll just call, cool, but I think there's no way he's obviously, uh, don't need to think about that one too much. We've also got the ace of diamonds, which is good. Okay, I was you know, a little bit worried about that queen there, but we obviously have the fives there. So if he does hit a king, we've obviously still got the higher two pair and diamond river. So yeah, nice, good game to Simon. It was a pretty incredible comeback from him from zero big blinds, um, but does end up just going out in the same position and we are up to chip leader now let's go good flop for us here because you know he's not going to have any over pairs here um you know eight stuff eights and above is pretty much should definitely be raising here thing is that it's yeah bit of a dodgy board I will just call. Cool. Hopefully, doesn't go too nuts. That is a card that obviously, you know, he could be doing five six or something or an ace five. So I have to say I don't love that turn card. Do see a check though, which is good. I'll probably just go for, you know, a bit of a block bet here. Probably go two point eight because could end up getting some value out of a three here. To yeah, maybe a three or two if he thinks I've got heart or something or a draw if he raises me here um, nice I think this one plays quite nicely as a as a C bet you know got some backdoor hearts fairly dry board and sort of just as a bit of a protection bet I would think he's gonna raise a lot of his Queens on the flop but I'm gonna check this one back don't like that river so much because you know when you're thinking about what he's calling the flop with um, and this is a bit of a sort of yuck bet I think I have got to cool this one off but I don't like it because it's sort of because you know what's he sort of calling the flop with um, yeah I wanted to fold that last one to be honest because it, it did kind of just look like what is he what is he calling that flop with but yeah so that does put us down sort of 
in third position. Actually, we're fairly close still to number two. Oh, this is a lovely spot, actually. Just shove the king queen. You know, I don't even mind seeing a call. I guess with this other short stack, shoving the 10 7 probably is fine. Damn it. Oh, let's hit that 10. Come on. 10 or 7. That is really not what I wanted to happen. Oh. This is tough because I've got such short stacks around me with this guy just going mental. Good, we do get it through though. That's nice to see. Need some good fortune at this stage. I think I'm just going to go for this one to be honest. Because otherwise I'm just going to blind out at this rate. Damn it. It's not what we wanted to see. Ugh, definitely not what we wanted to see. Just avoid the six. Oh no, that can be a six. Seven. <laughs> Phew. Ace queen though. I've definitely just got to be going for this one. Come on. This is could be huge if I win this. Jack. <laughs> he has jacks. Are you kidding me? Oh, that's so sick. That is so sick. How does he have jacks? <gasps> I can't believe that. I thought we were just drawing dead there when he hits that set. Wow, that's crazy. I can't believe though when I had Ace Queen suited and he's been he has literally just been shoving any two completely every single time and he picks up bloody uh jacks. Kings, come on. Yes, that's good. That's what we want to see. God, is Roman really oh my god. What is this? This is mental. Please. Tens. Come on, no ten or seven. Oh, no ten, seven, eight. Please, this could be absolute. This is... No. No! That is just so costly, man. Oh. <sighs> Can't believe that. 10 on the river. Wow, that would have been huge. That's That would have pretty much guaranteed us up to second. So that one card there, that 10 on the river, that's cost me £10,000. That's a lot. That's an expensive river. I mean, at least we held to pick up the fourth place. You know, 15k is not bad, but yeah that river card is rough but yeah thanks for watching and uh please subscribe